Namaste. Thanks for joining Elna Zuga 360. And in this short video, I want to show you a couple of easy daily poses that you can actually do every day to relieve lower pain if you have any pain on the lower back, as well as strengthen those muscles. So when you're ready, just get on your mat and we'll do this together. So for the first pose, like just lie down on your back and hug your knees into your chest. You can slowly sway yourself to the right and left. And remember, these are great poses, which uh, are again, great for people who are sitting behind the desk for long hours because of the bad or poor posture. It helps us to really strengthen those muscles and uh, you know avoid future pain if any and you know and that also helps us to keep you know those muscles healthy and which are again very effective in the health of our pelvis and our knees so for the first one we call this pose apanasana so it's a stretch pose so you're going to straighten one leg on the floor Keep the other one in your chest. Flex both ankles. You're pushing the heels out. And just for a moment, look at your toes, you know, the left toes, and see if your toes are pointing toward the ceiling. That's what we want. If, if your leg is open, just try to bring it more toward the center. And let's hug your right knee into your chest. <coughs> Excuse me. And now from you know we want to add a little bit of intensity to this so when you're ready just lift your left leg up and then lower and again very gently lift it up and lower and again lift and lower now if you think that this is easy for you you can actually do another pose which i mean basically the same pose but we're adding to this lift your chest more toward your right knee and then keep doing this lower and up lower and bring it up and lower, bring it up. So we're adding a little bit of more dynamic movement to, to Apanasana. So keep doing this maybe for five to 10 rounds. If you feel your neck gets tired, just keep it on the floor and keep doing this movement. And after maybe 10 rounds, you're just gonna switch the leg. Again, flex your ankles hug the left knee into your chest and again starting with you know moving your right leg off the floor up and down up and down if you feel that you have more maybe strength or you don't have any pain you can actually bring it a little bit higher and lower and a little bit higher and lower so these are all working on the muscles of your lower back and now you can also add lifting your chest and still doing the same pose breathe in and breathe out and lower yourself down after 10 rounds again hug your knees both into your chest let's get one stretch in the middle straighten your right leg and with your right hand, you're going to lower your left knee, which is bent all the way to the right side and extend your left arm to the left side. So getting one stretch, which is called the reclining twist. And, you know, for this pose, you don't necessarily need to bring the knee all the way to the, to the floor. You keep it where it comes. Preferably want to keep the shoulders on the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. And then coming back to the center, let's switch the legs. And again, with, your with the help of your left hand, lower your right knee to the left and extend your right arm to the right. And again, get the stretch. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, coming back to the center, now we want to do another strengthener for those muscles. So you can grab the sides of your mat, maybe lifting your knees like a you know, reverse tabletop, lifting your shins basically. And then start to straighten one leg, bring it back and switch. And again, this might seem easy at the beginning, but it would be good to do 
again two to three sets of 15 if you can to just you now start to build it up breathe in and breathe out and be aware of your ujjayi breathing again the ujjayi breathing which i have a separate video for it it's the in inhale and exhale in and out of your nose the air gets through your nose and comes at goes to the bottom of your throat and gets constricted and eventually and when it's coming out you might hear a little bit of humming sound of your breathing so it looks like this and just hug your knees after maybe the first set we will do another set together so when you're ready again Grab the sides of your mat and again, like a yoga bicycle. Breathe in and breathe out. And if for any reason you feel pain in any part, I would say just pull out of that pose and do it as much as you can. You know, you definitely don't want to overdo or put pressure on any area of your body, which is already, you know, weak or it's like already or you feel like there's already something going on there and eventually hugging your knees back again you know and i would say if you have time do at least three sets breathe in and breathe out you can sway yourself to the right and left so the next one is more of a stretch type so we're gonna we're gonna go to thread the needle place your right ankle on the left knee and then interlace your fingers and hug the left thigh from the back of your left thigh flex your ankles stay here breathe in and breathe out this is one of the hip openers but at the same time it's stretching your lower back muscles and SI joint muscles which are very important breathe in and breathe out I would say again stay here for 30 seconds on each side or at least you know five to seven deep breaths Breathe in and breathe out. At the same time, while you're here, just relax your shoulders, you know. You don't want to really tighten up the upper body. Just focus on your legs. Imagine there is an imaginary wall underneath your left foot. You can also do this at the wall, which is also helpful, which is a free prop. You can use the walls in so many yoga poses. Now let's switch the legs. Place your left ankle on your right knee. And inter again, flexing both ankles, pushing the heels out. Interlace your fingers on the back of your right thigh. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. And you, you're also feeling, you know, that you're pressing your lower back to the floor again imagine there is an imaginary wall underneath your right foot breathe in and breathe out now let's switch hug your knees one more time now we're going to do uh, another strengthener so this one is a little bit more intense, so I would say definitely do it as much as you can. You don't need to, you know, I mean, if you're going to do maybe 10 on each cycle right now, you can, you, you're you welcome to do even five if you want. But if you feel it's easy for you, you can go above the number that we are doing here. Again, place uh, your hands uh, or grab the sides of your mat, lift your shins up, and we're going to do, imagine there is a ball underneath your, you know, your calves. And then you're basically moving this ball gently forward and bring it back and again and i would say you don't need to straighten your leg all the way you know just straighten as much as you feel that you're already working on your lower back and partially the lower belly and bring it back straighten and back three and again four and five and again six 
This is very effective for lower back muscles and strengthen those muscles. So I would definitely say that this is the king among all of the other poses if you want to strengthen those muscles. For the stretch, we can definitely do the first pose, which was Apanasana, the reclining twist, and the thread the needle that we did already. And after the tenth one, just take a break, hug your knees, breathe in and breathe out. A lot of these poses have gone to Pilates from yoga. As you know, that Pilates is taken from yoga. And um, I, I mean, I believe that I think it's like the yoga, sorry, the, um, I mean, a lot of the poses in Pilates are more strengthening than a stretch. Uh, however, we still do practice those strengthening poses in yoga as well. So again, place your hands at, at your, on your mat, or you can grab the sides of your mat. And again, let's do the second 10 rounds. And again, two and three. So again, imagine that you're moving a ball with your legs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great, and hug your knees into your chest. Great job. Now put your feet on the floor now, the last pose of this sequence is the bridge pose. So we want to do another strengthener for the lower back and the glutes. So keep your feet parallel to each other, hip width distance. And when you're ready, you're going to push to the feet and lift your hips up. And if you want, you can interlace your fingers underneath your hips, or you can still grab the sides of your mat. And remember, like, you want to keep your thighs and your legs parallel to each other so if they're opening up just try to bring them back parallel and imagine that the inner thighs are spinning toward the floor and the outer thighs are hugging toward the midline breathe in and breathe out again the same thing i would say keep your breech pose maybe for 10 seconds or again five breath five deep breath and again, come lower your hips and you can do this again, going, lifting your hips up for two more sets. Let's lower your hips for the first round. We will do this again. Inhale, push to the feet, lift your hips up. Breathe in and breathe out. You're pushing to the four corners of the feet and rebounding up through the shins and the calves. Breathe in and breathe out. And again, after maybe 10 seconds, you can gently lower your hips down and hug your knees into your chest. Breathe in and breathe out. And when you're ready, you can gently lower your knees to the right or left, like a fetal position. And with the help of your hand, you're gonna to come to the seated position. So this was our session for the lower back muscles, uh, which again, we try to exercise some of the stretching poses plus the strengtheners. And feel free to put me comments. And if you wanna know more about it, any part, or if there's an issue with any of the poses, or if you wanna know again, some other yoga poses related to different part body parts just feel free to put comments for me and thanks for uh, joining me and stay tuned for the next video namaste